Hey everyone, Val here. And I have a Joanne Fabrics yarn haul. And Joanne Fabrics sends me announcements in my email because I do buy online from them quite a bit, I guess. Uh, I'm just trying to get my stash up of um, my yarns and my fabrics and stuff. So that once I go into the new year, I have plenty of stuff to have to work on my projects that I'm going to be working on. Um, some of the projects will be for the craft fairs for next year um, because I'm going to continue to do the craft fairs. I did the one craft fair uh, in November or the beginning of December. I can't remember exact. Oh, it was in November. Uh, it was before the Black Friday. But I uh, did the one craft fair to benefit the Black Friday. And it worked out very well. So I think I'm going to continue to do some craft fairs in the new year. So I wanted to get my stash of my material and some stash of some uh, some yarns. So I have a yarn haul. And they had the yarns. They sent me a, a thing in my email saying that the yarn was on sale. There was some discounts. I missed a good discount, unfortunately, because I tend to get so many emails that I don't read them the days they come in. And there was, uh, by the time I went to get the yarn, the coupon had expired by one day. So unfortunately, it was buy two, get one free. And that would have been an awesome deal had I got it on time. But they did have the yarn marked down. So they had this these yarns marked down to, I think it was like 388 a skein, where they're normally five something a skein. So it did still save me money by going in. Uh, at the discount pricing and get in the yarn. Now what I wanted this yarn for is the hedgehogs that I'm making, the faces. I needed some lighter colors for the faces. I don't have a lot of light colors in my yarn uh, because I do the dark colors for the hats for the people facing homelessness and uh, I don't tend to go with lighter colors. So when I look for the lighter colors to match my the hair yarn, the fun fur, I can't I don't have the 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 uh, lighter colors so I wanted to go in and buy a bunch of different colors to go with the hedgehog yarn depending on what color of yarn I'm using and I, I was gifted a whole lot of the hedgehog yarn the fun fur uh, of different colors so I can match them all hopefully match them all now so anyway the, these two this is uh soft blue can you I don't know if you can see that color or not but that's kind of pretty I was hoping this was thick like four yarn the four I think it's going to be thick enough I had some that were feeling pretty thin but uh, I need the thicker yarn for the hedgehog faces or it, they don't come out looking right uh, this is what's this color it just has a number. A woodland heather, is that what it's called? Woodland heather. It's a green. Alright, that's probably one of the darkest that I got, but I think that's going to be fine. Uh, this is really pretty. This is a um, soft green. That one's pretty. I think they're going to be thick enough. This one is a feathered gray. This is really bright called lemonade. This would be not a nice one with if I get a nice uh, colored yarn with uh, a lot of yellows in it or something to have a nice yellow face. I have a lot of pinks and stuff, but I don't want to do every face like a pink or more in a like quote unquote girl shades because the hedgehogs are for boys too so I wanted to make sure that they all weren't looking like girl toys um, or what we typically consider girl toys this is a cobalt blue which I think is really pretty um, I just want to make sure that they're light enough where I can get a black eyes and the black nose on them uh, I tried going with a darker color with a lighter 
eyes and nose and I don't like it as well so I think it looks better with the lighter faces on them this one is pistachio that's kind of cute kind of nice I'm not like green is my least favorite color I think but I'm getting more used to using greens this is a Kelly green that's bright almost Christmassy actually I got some Christmas uh, ornaments that I want to make too and I think I may have got the Kelly green for the Christmas ornaments um, not for the hedgehogs but uh, I do have this green and I wanted a red too so these this is the um, harvest red these are the two Christmas colors that I picked because I wanted to do some Christmas ornaments when I'm working on those I'll show you those but I'm gonna put those aside because those are the ones I picked for the Christmas colors now that I think about it um, this is a neon orange I like this I like that color a lot I got sunshine I got sunshine I do have a lot of hedgehogs that are in the yellows uh, of the fun fur so I got two different shades of yellow one's a little darker than others it's funny that I can pick up like two colors of beige because I do have some beige yarn and um, one looks better with some yarns than others and I'm not sure why my camera's doing that I guess because I'm looking away from it but my camera's going a little wacko there um, this is a peach a light country peach this is real pretty I'll try not to look away from the camera because if I do it it kind of whacks out on me um, orchid that's pretty purples I like purples I'm more of a neutral kind of color like this is autumn maize like I like this one that's browner that's pretty all right got a few more in here is some of these feel bigger than others they're all supposed to be six ounce this is a light country blue kind of has a, a grayish tone to it that's different I'd have that blue I have like three different blues four or five different blues I think this is another green this is soft sage simply soft sage All right, let me see what else we got here. 100% acrylic. This is called Robin's Egg. Robin's Egg. And this is uh, Yarn Inspirations by Karen Simply Soft. This is all Karen Simply Soft. 100% acrylic. All of this is the same. Let me see. I got three more in here. I did get a pink. This one's a soft pink. I got a uh, mint blue. That's pretty. I like all the blues. And last but not least, this is called Bone. And this is kind of a brownish tan, I guess. All right, so that's my stash. That's all the yarns that I picked up for hedgehogs. And, oops, stick them back in the box. What, did you like any of these? Which ones are your favorites? Looking forward to doing all these knitting projects. I spend a lot of time this winter. It's like 12 degrees today. So... Christmas Eve, 12, 13 degrees, a little bit crazy, cold, um, hopefully the roads aren't frozen or anything because it did rain a couple of days, so hopefully the roads aren't frozen over because the kids have all got to come up here this weekend. 
and I want everybody to be safe, everybody traveling in this area and every other area that's had this crazy weather. Uh, Y'all be safe out there. Have a Merry Christmas. Um, this video will probably be up after Christmas. I'm not sure. But anyway, I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, all of that good stuff. And uh, got to spend some time with your loved ones. Just thought I'd share the the yarn haul with you I don't know if it's still on sale over at Joanne Fabrics or not but if you are looking for some yarn um, Karen Simply Soft that's the yarn um, I don't have a problem with the Karen Simply Soft it seems like good yarn I uh, like the Red Heart yarn also um, those are my two brands that I, I normally buy so uh, go check them out if you need yarn thank you all for watching Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. I will catch you all on the next video. Bye now.